Jonah. Ye yes, my lord. Get out. Go to Nineveh, the great city, and proclaim judgment against her, for their wickedness has come to my attention. You're leaving without saying goodbye? You need to go back inside, Joanna. You're not going to Nineveh, are you? No. Tarshish. No! Jonah, that's the wrong way! Go back! We can talk to Father! Joanna! I can't go to Nineveh. I just can't do it. But what will you do in Tarshish? When will you be back? I don't know. Maybe never. Never? Then who's going to Nineveh? Who's going to tell them what Jehovah said? I'm sorry, Joanna. I don't know what Jehovah will do. But I just can't do it. It's too much. But if it's Jehovah's will that you should go, then you should go.
just 40 days more. And will be overthrown. In just 40 days more, Nineveh will be overthrown. In just 40 days more, Nineveh will be overthrown. In just 40 days more, who could possibly overthrow our city? It looks like an Israelite. Jehovah, the true God, has spoken. This city will be destroyed. Nineveh will be overthrown. Jehovah, the true God, has spoken. Your city will be destroyed. In 35 days, this city will be destroyed. Nineveh will be overthrown. This city will be destroyed. In 25 days, we just leave here. What should we do? Listen, this is probably these are like God Jehovah. What should we do? Should we flee the city? We can't just leave here. What should we leave our homes? Where should we go? God will overthrow Nineveh. Listen, if we repent, maybe his God will have mercy on us. According to the prophet, there is only 20 days left until the destruction of the city. Throughout the city, people are fasting, putting on sackcloth. They are asking the prophet how Jehovah wants him to behave, and they're trying to do as he says. What else have we learned about Jonah? The Ninevite reported overhearing a conversation of Jonah's. It seems originally he chose not to come. Instead, he fled to Tarshish, but was thrown overboard. Then, he claims Jehovah sent a fish to swallow him and bring him back. Is he insane? Maybe not. This man speaks for the God of Israel, a God of miracles, known for his greatness and his power. He might be powerful in Israel, but we have our own gods here. True, but Jehovah is the one responsible for humiliating the gods of Egypt, even destroying their army in the Red Sea. He's also the one who brought about the great flood mentioned in our histories. He did this because the people of the time were extremely violent. Call me scribe. In ten days more, true God will overthrow Nineveh. So this city has come to the attention of the true God. The true God has spoken. Nineveh will be overthrown. The city will be destroyed. Hear the word of the king, people of Nineveh. Hear the word of the king. By the decree of the king and his nobles, no man or beast, herd or flock, should eat anything at all. They should not take food, nor should they drink any water. Let them be covered with sackcloth, both man and and beast and let them call earnestly to God and turn from their evil ways and from the violence they practice who knows whether the true God may reconsider what he intends to do and turn back from his burning anger that we may not perish Something should be happening. There's nothing. Would Jehovah actually pardon the city? No. No, that's not possible. How could Jehovah change his mind? What would these people think of me? What good is a prophet if his words don't come true? Was this not my concern when I was in my own land? That is why I tried to flee to Tarshish in the first place. For I know that you are a compassionate and merciful God, slow to anger and abundant in loyal love, and one who feels grieved over calamity. Oh, Jehovah, please take away my life. It is better for me to die than to live. We know you're a prophet of the true God. We have faith that you speak truth. Please stay our hope. We'll make you comfortable. in the city.
Is it right for you to be so angry over the bottle gourd plant? I have a right to be angry. So angry, I want to die. You felt sorry for the bottle gourd plant, which you did not work for, nor did you make it grow. It grew in one night and perished in one night. Should I not also feel sorry for Nineveh, the great city, in which there are more than 120,000 men who do not even know right from wrong, as well as their many animals? Mommy says he saved us. No, Jehovah saved you. I was just... I was just a messenger. Thank you. What are you doing? I've written about Nineveh. But also about Jehovah's great mercy. Both to the people there and to me. Was it hard to write about all that? Painful. So, what will you do now? Whatever Jehovah asked me to do. 